guys, MC Crafter here for another two minute video part of two minute series. If you don't know the two minute series, just check the video link below and you find out all about it. Topic of today is Massimo Tamburini. Who is Massimo Tamburini? So, Massimo Tamburini lived from 1943 to 2014. One of the most famous people across the motorcycle community, but I'm going to tell you a little bit about, more about him before I tell you what he actually achieved and what legacy he's left behind. He was an Italian, he lived in Italy, and when he was 18 years old, he had the opportunity to be able to go to university. Unfortunately, financial constraints with his family and himself meant that he, go to, go to, he couldn't go to university. So what he did was he went to tech. Now, unfortunately, for whatever reason, it probably gets financial, he had to pull out the tech, and he went on to work in air conditioning ducting. So Massimo Tamburini got together with two of his friends, Valerio Biacci and Giuseppe Murray. Now, those three people, probably don't say that name right, those three people got together creating a business and they went to air conditioning and ducked down. Their business was actually located to the Benelli factory. Now, in 1961, uh, Massimo Tamburini was exposed to motorcycles with his friends. They went to the Monza Super World, World Superbike Championship and from then on, he decided that he was going to design and create motorcycles. He designed the first MV Augusta 750 motorcycle that he could race. And then in a year, two years later, in 1973, he went on and he created a company called Bimoto. First legacy right there. So after that, he went to work for Kajiva. He became a recognized designer. Ducati came along and said, hey, Massimo Tamburini, we'd really like you to design our next Ducati. And guess what came next? The Ducati 916, one of the most iconic bikes in the world. And between 1994 and 1996, where the Ducati 916 was in existence, they created a limited edition model that was specific to Ayrton Senna. Ayrton Senna, most, one of the most infamous Formula One drivers who unfortunately lost his life a year after signing the special limited edition model motorcycle. They went to win four different Superbike World Championships from 1994 to 1996 and then in 1998. Now, next legacy, guess what he created? He created in 1999, to the shock of the world, the MV Augusta F4 750. So Massimo Tamburini, a simple man who pretty much came from nothing, had managed to create a world legacy that will probably go on for infamy with regards to motorcycles. Let me know your thoughts guys, MC Procrastinator.